Okay, I have all the parts out that I need for my fans. What I'm going to do, uh, Corsair actually recommends that you draw air into the computer through the, the radiator. Uh, the case recommends that since it's got three fans in the front, that you blow the fan the, the uh, air through the radiator out of the case. So since this is going to be on the top, it's going to be mounted like this with the cooler on the, on the right hand side. Um, it's going to be mounted like this. I'm going to make the fans go towards the radiator, the airflow go towards the radiator, and I'm going to have the wires going out um, towards the back of the back of the case so I can route them around. So um, the, when I flip it over, it's actually going to go down towards the radiator, and the wires are going to go towards me. And I also have all the brackets out uh, for the Intel and the back plane and all the little standoffs and the thumb screws, all that good stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and put these on. And I don't know if you'll be able to tell, but there's an arrow right there. And I know it's not going to focus on it. Let me see if we can get it to focus on it. No, probably not. But anyway, there's an arrow right there that says down. The airflow goes down. Let me see if I can... Um, so what you do is you put these on there and you, these are take the longer screws there's eight of them and you literally just drop them in and screw them into place and if you get the opposite corners first it kind of helps line up everything else And so this fan will get four screws, and then the next one will get four screws. Make sure my arrows are going the right way. They are blowing towards the radiator, so down towards the table. I like it that they give you the option of doing this pretty much any way you want to. If you had a case that would with support it, you could put the fans on the outside and make it blow in if you want to, or you could pull um, through the case, um, through the radiator down into the case if you wanted to. Like I said, I'm going by the case recommendation that we blow out of the case, so that, that's why I'm doing it this way. And one more. Don't put those on backwards, you guys. Look. Me and my stupidity, I put the cable going up towards the front. So um, I'm going to take this one back off and have it going back the other way. And I'll be back when I get them on. Okay, I have the fans turned the right direction now. Um, I worry about something though. I've looked at the top. I took the top off the case. And it's got all this uh, foam um, on the top. And I'm worried about, is there going to be enough air circulation to, um, to blow out of this area up here so I'm wondering if I'm gonna to have to like take this out take this section of this uh, sound insulation out just to make sure I get enough airflow I don't I don't know I'll, I'll try it without first and just if it if it starts getting hot then I'll have to uh, pop this back off and, and then take some of this this foam out on this side um, it's the only thing that worries me so my next step is to um, to take this I'm gonna actually go ahead and mount it in there because I don't want the motherboard in uh, while I'm trying to mount it. So I'm going to mount the radiator in first and um, and then I'll put the processor and motherboard and stuff like that in there. So I'm going to clear out some space just so I can uh, lay this case down. And uh, actually I might just pull it over here and, and rearrange. So I'll be back in just a second. All right, here's the top of the case. And uh, just take this book out of here. Um, I'm going to try to see if I can get this in here without having to fight too much while I'm recording. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lay this radiator right up underneath here. Yeah, 
and it goes in these slots here and here and here. And uh, it almost looks like I have enough room for another 120 millimeter fan over here. So I'm like, I might even try to do that. So what you want to do with these is it takes the short screws and a washer. So I'm going to try to get a washer and just lay it down over here. Gonna tighten it up just enough to hold it in place. This one looked like it had foam or something in there. Mm, I guess it's alright. It's just where some of the paint had come off. Or they had to retap it or something. I don't know. Yeah, it goes in there alright. I was worried I wasn't gonna be able to get the screw in there. So, as I, I don't wanna tighten them up too tight because I wanna be able to um, shift it around a little bit. Try and get the alignment of the screw holes okay. I'm going to make sure I put all, um, what is there, four, eight, eight screws in there. Uh, because I don't want it to rattle or shake or, you know, vibrate any at all. So I'm going to make sure I get all of them, all the screws in there. And I'll probably slide it all the way to the back because I'm going to see if I have room for, I have an extra 120 millimeter fan that I took out of my own case. Um, I want to know if I can put it in the back and maybe make it pull air, you know, a little bit. Well, no, I'll probably... Pull it out um, still. Or I guess push it out of the of the case. Yeah. So now I'm just gonna tighten these all up. Put it in the screw hole. I was next to the screw hole. Okay. Isn't that really good? I'm just curious. Well, hey, I just want to see if this actually would fit in there. Um, I have to take this drive out, this drive tray out. But um, I bet you anything that would fit in there. No, it won't fit in there. The uh, the radiator. I mean, I could put it on in on three screws. No, it's what the deal is. The radiator, so it doesn't have room for a third. Oh well, it was a good tr it was a good try. Um, the deal is the radiator over on this side is it sticks out beyond the edge where another fan would set, so you just can't get it in there. So it's no big deal. Like I said, it would be nice to have another little section of. Uh, of cooling, but that's okay. It's got plenty.
Okay. Yeah, I still worry about the, that um, sound proofing on the top being uh, interfering with the air. Uh, it didn't say anything about removing. Um, didn't say anything about removing the the sound stuff, um, honestly. But um, I'll, I'll play around with it. I'll see if it, if I think it's going to be right up against there uh, to where it's going to block the air. I'll probably pull that that sound um, foam off. Um, if it seems to be okay, then then I'll just leave it. So uh, my next step is probably going to be getting the motherboard ready. I'll put the uh, the memory and stuff in it. So I'll be back and I'll get the motherboard ready. Okay, I fooled you. I'm going to do the power supply next. And uh, just because I can start routing some of these wires around. Um, I have a tendency to want to unscrew these too far, but you don't really need to unscrew them very far. They just really, literally, once they loosen up, um, they're fine. They're, they're, they're good. Um, so I tend to kind of like halfway leave them not quite all the way out. So here's the power supply that I've got. And what you do is you mount this to that and that's not the right direction so it goes like this yeah and you just kind of move it around to the, where the, the screws line up and there's where the screws line up so that's the direction it's going to go and hanging over the edge of the table here and here's the screws actually these are the screws i took out of the power supply from my other computer This is a modular power supply, so I don't have to hook every cable up to it, which is good. Um, saves on, on cable space, definitely. Okay, and this will go The fan goes on the bottom, so I had to think about it. Um, I'm thinking about cutting these zip ties too, because I don't know how much space I'm going to need, so I'm going to cut these. Come on, knock with me. No. Try not to make sure I don't cut the cable. There we go, just flick that across the room. So I'm going to tuck these in here. Now I've got my hand back here, I'm just grabbing them uh, and pulling them through. And it slides right in. And then you basically just take, tighten the thumb screws up. And, uh, and you're good to go. Power supply is in. Um, I've never had a case with a power supply on the bottom, so that's a little bit different. Now, it looks like I have plenty of cable to pull up through my motherboard, so I was worried about having enough power, length of power cable uh, for my motherboard. So, okay, so next I'm going to get my motherboard out and put memory uh, in there, and, um, and then I'll be back. And I've got my motherboard out of the bag, and one of the things I'm going to do is I'm going to actually install um, this in my case and. Actually, I'll do that off camera, but um, it's pretty straightforward. You just pop it in place and it, uh, it allows you to line up the things on the motherboard um, on the back and they're all labeled and things like that. So I'll pop that in. You do it from the inside of the case. I, I just, I don't have room. I don't have room to get over there right now. So what I'll do is I'll go ahead and do my memory and I'll also do my processor right now. I'll go ahead and put that in too. So the memory, it's gonna break this paper seal and it should pop right open. Uh -huh. Got a little thumb there. Pull for you. They give a, sorry, I saw something move in there and I was wondering what that was. They give you a little uh, sticker to stick on your, your case. It just says uh, HyperX. I don't know if I use those or not. And I just line up, what I do is I flip all these down and there's a notch there. I mean, there's a bump there and there's a notch here and I just line them up. 
and this all of them is all this memory is exactly the same. So um, I don't have to uh, do matching pairs or anything. It's, it's all I've ordered it all at the same time. I'll keep the stickers, but I doubt I'll use them. I like the white case. I really don't want to stick uh, stick stickers all over it. I love the look of the memory. It wasn't intentional, but that the red on here matches all the red on the motherboard, so that's pretty cool. And it's always nice to have them looking good because this case is clear, so um, you want to be able to to see the stuff inside the case and make it look nice. First time I've had this much memory too. This is, uh, you know, this is 16 gigs of memory. Right now I'm running on my old computer. It's literally running at four. Um, I, I have four four gigs of memory right now on my computer, and uh, it's in, it'll be interesting to see this computer running uh, once I get it going and everything. Yeah, I really like the looks of that. I just make sure they're latched in place uh, for the processor. Take it out of the box. And again, I'm not going to be using the fan, so we'll just, we'll just keep the fan in there. Mm. Mm. High-tech processing. I mean, high-tech uh, boxing here. You have to take the whole thing out just to get the processor out. There we go. Will I ever get the folder back in? Probably not. Uh -huh. Mostly, it's mostly together. I'll, I'll shove that back in the box in a minute. But there's the processor. And it's got these two notches. Oh, let me see if I can find them with the plastic on. Um, no, I can't see it with the plastic on, but there, there's two notches. There's one there and one there that will line up with the notches on here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop this up and you push down and it slides over to unlatch it. Pop this up and they actually showed it. I normally take the plastic thing out of there, but they actually showed it. Um, let's see, the little bumps on this processor are, are here and here. So I'm going to line those up. I'm half blind. I'm just going to lay it right on there. And I try not to touch it any more than you have to. With the little notches, the bumps line up with the notches. And then you close this. And anyway, the MSI people, they were, uh, they were showing this. Yeah, there it goes. It kind of pops it out on its own. I don't know. I just always popped it out on my, by myself. You gotta, you gotta hook underneath that screw first. I haven't done one of these in ages. And then we're gonna push down and pop that underneath this little tab here and, and you're good to go. It's in there. It wouldn't close if it wasn't, so. Okay. Um, if there was anything else I can do on here before I put it in the motherboard. Don't see anything I can do. Um, yeah, so my next step is going to be to get it in the case. So, uh, so I'm going to get the case laying down and get it straightened out, and then I'll be right back. Okay, I got the case laying down on the table. You can get a really good view of those fans now. Um, there's the, the radiator fans, and there's the back fan. It's a big fan. There's my expansion slots, and they have standoffs in here already. Um, this one's rounded just to hold it in place. And um, these actually have holes for the for the screws. So I'm going to um, actually all of them have screws except for this middle one. So I'm going to open the the packet of screws that came with the case. This one right here, and um, get the screws out that I'm going to put the motherboard in, and then uh, I'll put the motherboard. Well, I can show you how to do the motherboard. Um, I got the little got the bracket in the back, and literally all you do is you line it up 
on here, you just press it into place and it just pops in place. So it's, it's not hard to do at all. And then the, the motherboard goes back towards those connection points. You really need more than one hand to get it lined up, but that's pretty much it. And there's a there's a standoff in the middle that I'm going to try to get it in place on. And that one right there. Yeah. See, I got it. This little standoff pushing up through the hole. That's my location pin right there, and everything else should be lined up now. And everything in the back is coming through. So cool. So I'm going to get the screws out and your screw down. There's one there, one there, one back in the back. There's one there, one in the front, and there's three on the side. One, two, and three. So you just get those screws in there and then it's, uh, it's bolted down and then I'll be back. I'm going to get the screws in first. Okay. I've got all the screws in and uh, it's good and stable. Uh, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to install this bracket right here for the, the the cooler and it's gonna go on the other side right through those holes. I guess I gotta turn it that way. Right through those holes right there. And it's gonna go up through the back side and then I've got some standoffs right here that's gonna screw into the top to hold it in place. So that's what I'm gonna do off camera right now and um, and then that bracket and these standoffs will be on there and then I'll be back. <laughs>